Hi, I'm going to show you how to use new features in Puppet 2D since uh, version 1.8. Uh, we have a new feature called uh, Bake Animation. This is so that if you want to um, use animate your using your controls, but you want the animation to come up on the bones, you can click this button and it will convert all the animations into bone animations. So what you need to do is just have a scene with your global control in it, with all the animations in there. At the moment we've just got the um, Puppet 2D shoot animation. So um, if I just click this button, you'll see in the animation baked folder, you'll see this, this um, new animation has been made, which is the same animation but just on the bones. So if we just drag it onto the animator um, and uh, click, and you also notice actually that the global control has been turned off because we don't need it anymore because the controls are actually not going to be um, animating just the bones. So if we press play, you'll see that his actual, um, his bone animation works but the controls aren't needed anymore so you can actually remove all of the Puppet 2D scripts after doing that and so you can just have um, basically uh, game objects animated um, which is uh, can be very useful it's also good optimization. I um, also want to show you um, some slight changes in the um, bone creation um, if we just um, click a few bones here so we have one of the things that's changed is that if you click on a bone and you hold shift you can actually move the bone individually without moving the hierarchy and if you actually use control it still um, moves the whole hierarchy underneath it. If you click Alt you can create new bones within um, so basically between the, the current bone and the uh, child bones and uh, also if you do backspace it deletes the bone cleanly. So that's a new, some new sort of additions to the um, bone creation tool. Also, uh, recently I've added to, uh, a few more little things if you notice over here. So you've got type of mesh. What that is is how much uh, subdivisions you have in your mesh. So if I just take this, uh, this mesh here, and um, so zero would be um, just the normal one that you're used to, but um, you can also have like very, very subdivided. So you can have um, um, much more like subdivisions. Actually, I wanted to explain to you this as well. Just um, when you create, whenever you create a mesh, um, it creates it in this folder. So you can choose to sort of overwrite it or you can um, create a brand new mesh. So let's just overwrite it and it's just going to stay over, the, go over the top of that one. So um, yeah, so you see it's got much more subdivisions. You can use that for different kind of deformations. Finally, the um, number of skin bones is uh, basically the uh, default bind skin um, options so when you skin um, your mesh to um, the bones if you have it on two it's going to um, skin it to two weighted to two bones so if you look here what you get is a sort of smoother sort of um, interpolation over here because the, each of the verts are skinned to multiple bones whereas if you go for um, just simple kind of one bone skinning um, if I select that and that you'll see it just every vert only goes to one bone so that's why over there you're getting kind of not such nice skinning but sometimes it could be easier to start from that so it's, it's up to you to choose which one works better for your situation okay thank you